Healthcare in America is out of control. I can see why people go bankrupt having to pay, you know, for medication or going to the doctor's office. I, I honestly cannot afford to go to the doctor's office here in America. Today, I got my bill from my dermatologist and I just gotta show you this. A mole frozen off and that cost $203. And then they wanted to remove a freckle from my ear and that was sent for biopsy at $159 and then the visit itself was $129 for a total of $491 for something that took less than five minutes for all of it. And the insurance made some adjustments and I love this, Blue Cross Blue Shield payment of $34.57. You know, I am put together a video of the cost of medical care in India and I cannot believe the difference and if they can do things so cheaply why can't we greed America is full of greed and I'm tired of it because we're the ones that end up paying for it I hope you enjoy the following video because it really shows how much you can get in other countries for health care I'm not surprised that people go to different countries to get their health health care done and I'm gonna have to be the same because I can't afford it here anymore. Why am I paying so much a month when they pay so little? It's just absolutely ridiculous. Thank you for watching another edition of Timmy Talks. Today, we are going to talk about medical tourism and how much things cost in India. Come along, it'll be very interesting. So the last time I was in India, I had the opportunity and missed it to go to MedPlus Diagnostics. And today I'm not missing my opportunity. It is a laboratory slash medical building where they allow you to have all sorts of tests, all sorts of scans to evaluate your health. And depending on how many tests you wanna have, the amount of money you wanna spend, you can choose different services. One, some are for men, some are for women, some are for men of a certain age, some are for younger men, older men. Um, this one has 89 parameters that check, you know, different laboratory work and ultrasounds and EKGs. And you actually just kind of go through the pamphlets, the brochures and pick which one that you would like. So I've chosen the 89 parameter and this cost me 5,025 rupees, which is a whole $62.51. So all I did was go up to the front desk, provide my Indian telephone number, which is very helpful. If you, you can still get it if you don't have an Indian telephone number, but it just makes things a lot easier. I told them which um, service I wanted to engage and they gave me all of the paperwork. I had to go to multiple rooms and you'll see that in a second. So please submit the copies in, in this room, sir. Okay. Room number one, huh? two, four, and seven, nine. Okay. For the room number one, this copy for room number two and four. Okay. And this copy for room number seven and nine. Okay. And this copy for room number ten. Wow. Okay. Please submit this. Wow. Okay. So this is your bill, sir. Okay. And um, I can get everything done today then? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. All right, the rooms are documented well. Here's room one, and this is for a blood draw. This is where we start it all. I think they took a total of six vials of blood. Back to you, here? No, sir, the tray is there. There's a tray in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, time for your analysis. That's got to be with every complete visit, right? Okay, I was off to my second room, which was for radiological visit, but I wasn't quite sure how it worked. There were a lot of people there and I had a lot of different rooms to go to. I, I get that you just go to the different rooms, so just be aggressive and knock on the door. <laughs> They'll take your paperwork and now they're expecting me, so there you go. Always gotta get on a scale, why? Ugh. So 
So in a lot of these rooms, they really didn't want me filming, but so I'll, I'll describe what's going on. This is um, checking my capacity of my lungs where you blow into a machine and it actually tells you, you know, how much lung capacity you have and if you're having any issues with that. And then also in the same room, I got an EKG done and it's the standard same EKG that I have done here in the U.S. Okay, so now I'm going to room seven, which is an ECG and an echo. So there's people waiting right now, so I just have to wait my turn. And then here I think it sounds like an MRI in progress. I think it's funny how they want you to take your shoes off in the doctor's office. Is that hygienic? <laughs> okay, so I just came to the ultrasound. Sound scan room, and I gave them my paperwork, but I have to come back after three, which is going to be three hours from now. That's kind of a long time to wait for ultrasound, but I guess I can try and get these other tests done, and if I need to go eat, I'll go eat. Let me jump over to the audiologist and get my hearing checked out. So we'll displace this. This will be a little tight. Sure. So if any discomfort, let me know. Sure. Is it comfortable? Yeah. It's fine. Time for a complete chest x-ray, multiple views. Okay, and in this room, I got a complete ECG, echocardiogram of my heart. Now, this test in the United States cost me, out of my own pocket, $1,400. And it was included in this suite of services that I got today. This was one of the tests that they did not want me to film in. But, you know, it was the standard sort of Doppler test that showed my heart and the blood flow. And I actually was able to speak to the cardiologist right after where he went over the results with me and everything was looking really good. That was nice. That test cost me a lot of money at home. And on to my next test, which was a full body bone density scan. I can't even imagine how much this would cost to be done in the United States. You lay on the table and the machine scans from above and below and checks all your bone density. I have never had that done, that was cool. Okay, I was just requested to drink a liter of water. I guess they're gonna do ultrasound of my bladder. So they have these cups that are about four ounces. So I just finished the last one. I did nine of them. So a little bit over a liter, I think, if my calculation's correct, but uh, water logged. And I really need coffee. <laughs> I haven't had coffee today, I need coffee, but okay. We're coming close to the end here. Okay, so my bladder is not full enough. They were ready for me, but <clears throat> only 55% full. So <laughs> she said, come back when you really have to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna grab some coffee because I am have a headache from not having any today or eating. So I came to Barista Coffee. It's not my favorite, but it's coffee. I needed it so bad. I can already feel my headache lessening. <laughs> Okay, headed back for my last test. Cross fingers, I can do it because I gotta go pee. <laughs> Waiting for room 10, last one. So for these last few tests, they did an ultrasound of my liver, of my bladder, of my kidneys, and my prostate. It was thorough and amazing that I got all of this done under the same... 60 some odd dollars. Okay, I'm done with the last test. Let's go back up to the counter and find out when I have to come back to get my results. Stay tuned. We will get our follow up and find out how we did. Okay, off on another health thing. Let's see how we do with this one. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm at Max Vision Super Specialty Eye Hospital. I want to get a comprehensive eye exam. So let's see if they can accommodate a walk-in and how much it'll be. So come along. So I've been here before, so they should have all of my information on file. And my visit today is 200 rupees. 200 rupees. Which is about $2.40. Okay, so it looks like that female doctor I saw before is in here. So I think it's gonna be, it should be all the same, but it's always good to have your vision checked. Technician, what's your name? Yeah, my name is Shravan. Shravan. Shravan Optimus. Thank you very much, okay. So first I'll take your distance vision, okay? Okay. So you're able to read those? Oh yeah. Just a small bit. Perfect. Same bit. Good. All right. It's done. It's done. All right. Thank you. Just perusing through their brochure, they offer so many eye services here. Time to meet the doctor. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. The pressures in your eye are pretty normal. Okay. Good. Okay. So after that, I'll be checking you clinically to see how your optic nerve uh, and uh, disc is there. Okay. If I feel anything abnormal, then I'll send you to something called field test. Okay. Okay. In field test, we'll come to know to what extent the nerve fibers have uh, da got okay. damaged. Very good. Really appreciated that they did a thorough eye exam, checking my optic nerve to make sure I didn't have glaucoma or anything. Your nerve is fine. Good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Complete eye exam is done. Everything good. I only need reading glasses and over-the-counter ones are perfect. Okay, medical checkup number three. Come along. Let's see if we can get it done. About a 10-minute ride away is my next appointment at Clove Dental. I want a complete cleaning for my teeth. We're to do a health check care screening. All right. That's good. They're still testing for COVID symptoms, so good. The office is very proud that even during COVID, they had zero spreading of COVID cases. So they're very hygienic in this office, and I appreciate that. It's paperwork time and telling them what services I want done today. Strange you have to remove your shoes everywhere. It's not a temple. So I found a workaround for the taking your sandals off. Let me show you. Okay, we'll be here. Okay. I hate going to the dentist, even at home. <laughs> but it has to be done, and you should do it every at least every six months. So the doctors arrived. And I love how she had me rinse my mouth out with mouthwash. I mean, it kills bacteria and germs. How smart to do that right before your dental procedures. I have never had that done. And she did a thorough job of this checkup. She checked all of my previous cavities, looked to make sure I had no cavities going on, how deep any pockets were, um, the health of my mouth in general. It was very thorough. Proceed with cleaning, okay, which will clean up all the foot deposits okay. and a little bit of shape correction for you. Okay, teeth. great. Yeah. Shall we proceed? Please. Yeah. Okay, I won't bore you with the entire teeth cleaning, but suffice it to say that it was a thorough teeth cleaning with scraping and buffering and 
um, using paste and, you know, just everything that you get done, suction and spray and spin in the water, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it was very thorough and I'm so excited that I got this done today. been working in Hyderabad from past four and a half years okay and uh, from 2006 onwards I have been a dentist wow yeah. long time yeah. that's great my name is Dr. Parul and I am a root canal specialist uh, endodontist root canal okay orthodontist yeah. very yeah. good well I'm glad I, I hope I never need one of those yeah but you did an awesome job cleaning you know it's amazing okay so you're doing the cleaning you're a doctor yeah I'm doing all the practice like general dentistry also I'm doing and wow. specific to my uh, root canal also I'm doing. That's great. That's yeah. awesome. You get a full gamut of everything but it's nice that I actually had a dentist doctor yeah. cleaning my teeth because yeah. usually you just get a hygienist yeah. and you know that I, I would prefer a dentist. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. great. Awesome. So and the, other, the other thing in the US is you cannot get a teeth cleaning without getting x-rays and all sorts yes. of stuff. They just yes. won't do it. Yes. So I like the fact that I can come here and get my teeth cleaned yes. because I know I don't have any cavities. I know I yeah. don't have any issues. So yes. Nice. So, but I'll suggest you whenever you go to a dentist, huh. every six months you're going, right? It's yeah. a good habit. Oh, yeah. So whenever you go to the dentist, whenever, wherever you have a filling yeah. or anything, just follow up has to be done. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you again. I really yeah. appreciate it. Awesome job. Thank you. So your entire cleaning and your checkup, your charges is 1,090 rupees. 1,090. Okay, very good. Um, almost $14 for my service today. So that's amazing. You gotta come get your teeth clean. Serious. So tell me, uh, like I am very shocked and surprised that I can just come off the street and get my teeth clean. Yes. For me to get clean in the US, it literally takes me four to six weeks to make an appointment. I cannot, there's no way if I wanted my teeth clean, no way. Even if I said, I'll pay whatever, there's yes. no way. So I'm amazed that you can do that. Yes, yes. I'm actually working for Crow from past four years. And you don't, you won't believe, even at the time of COVID, we were working. Really? So And we were fully safe. R None yeah. of our workers were infected. Wow. None of our doctors were infected. Yeah. Because we followed all the protocols. That's great. And sterilization is the top most for sure. priority for us. For sure. And I'll tell you, I really like it when you're cleaning my teeth, you have me rinse with the peroxide or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you always think there's bacteria coming loose. Yes. They never do that. So yes. I really like that. Yes. That yeah. is our first protocol to make them sit and right. wash their mouth. Right. So that it works as an antiviral. And it's important. Yeah. Yeah, very good, awesome. And I also got a free tube of clove toothpaste, which is really helpful with sensitive teeth. It was part of my visit, and I really appreciate that the doctor gave that to me. She even uses it herself. This is never introduced all over. This is a clove power toothpaste tablet. Okay, toothpaste so, tablet. Yes, you have seen toothpaste, but yeah. it's a tablet. Okay. So what you do is, when you're traveling and you don't have your brush or your toothpaste. Yeah, it happens. Then it's, it's just a shortcut. You just take this. Really? Chew on every side and uh -huh. wash it out. Really? Mm -hmm. Is that something you came up with or is something it's, you... It's clove invention. Really? Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Wow, very innovative. You can try it. Very Take innovative. Two, three, whatever All right, want. sure, I'd like yeah, to try yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Please visit it. So and those tablets really do clean your mouth so well. If you don't have a toothbrush or a toothpaste, amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed my teeth cleaning and the doctor at Clove. Wow, amazing. Okay, off to my final health checkup, and this time it's in the evening. What could it be? Okay. Yeah. Today, what am I doing with a wire out of my head? <laughs> Come along. It's going to be interesting. It's going swimmingly so far, so let's check it out. In the 90s, we'll get, uh, get it off. You think? It be removed. So I decided to have a sleep study done in India. My doctor in the U.S. had suggested that I have a sleep study done in America to ensure that I don't have sleep apnea. And they wanted like $1,400 to do this test in the US. And in India, 
although it's quite expensive, it was only $200. And here I am like being hooked up from head to toe with all sorts of sensors to monitor my breathing. They have guys there all night watching and oxygen and they're ready to come in with CPAP machines if needed. You can see I'm all wired up, nose thing, finger thing, finger thing, chest all tied up, stomach all tied up. Have a pleasant sleep. <laughs> okay. I have to admit it was not the most comfortable evening that I've had and I did not sleep well at all and because there was light in the room and there were people in the room and I am someone who needs complete quiet and dark in order to sleep but... I did persevere through the night and was able to complete the test. Okay, I guess it's going to be lights out. Good night. So on to my final health tourism sort of visit. Okay, so the reason I came to the pharmacy is to pick up a couple things. One is Propecia. I take it for my beautiful locks. And in the US, the Propecia cost me $40 for a bottle of 30. I come here in India for a strip of 30, a particular brand name is $3. So imagine for a whole year, it's just, you know, nothing, $30. So I pay for a whole year what one bottle costs in the US. The other thing I got are a few antibiotics. So, you know, in the U.S., in order to get antibiotics, you have to go see the doctor and you have to pay for your co-payment and your office visit and the medication. Here, it's $1.50 for enough antibiotics to last you through sickness. So, you know, it's a great place to get medication if you need it. And it's much cheaper. So just look at the markup the U.S. market has. It's crazy. Okay, so in summary, what did I get? I got a bunch of reports on the tests that I did. I did an EKG, an ECG, a Doppler, an echocardiogram, a lung capacity test, an X-ray, a bone density scan, a, uh, let's see what else, oh, an ultrasound of my li liver and kidneys and, prostate and bladder, all of that, plus, I don't know, 70 plus um, tests, blood tests that were included, urinalysis and all that, for like $65. Then I got my eye exam for a little over $2, and I got my sleep study for $200. So for $275, Oh, and my teeth cleaning too. So for 275, 280, I got all of that stuff done compared to my one mole removal and mole frozen for over $400. So I can see why people go to different countries to have medical procedures. You know, I can take these reports and bring them to my physician if there's any issues. Thank goodness everything came out shining brightly. So I'm very happy with that. And I don't need to take that to my doctor, but ultimately you could. So, you know, it might be worth a trip to India. You get to see the country, get a nice airfare, you get your doctor visits, all for the price of just a couple things here. <laughs> so I don't know, it's it's totally worth it. So, you know, it's a shame what how much we get charged here, but it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and remember to subscribe. See you soon. Take care.